Let's learn in this video how to create a modular Terraform configuration where we can enable or disable creation of certain resources. I want to be able to provide a variable to, te to tell Terraform, please create this resource for me or just skip it and don't create it. So what I have in this Terraform configuration is that I have created that variable. I call it a resource enabled. By default, it's false. And then let's say, for example, I want to create a resource group. So what I want to have in Terraform is a variable or is a feature like enabled here where I can tell it, please create this resource for me. But unfortunately, this feature doesn't exist or doesn't exist yet in Terraform. So we need to figure out some other solution to do it. A solution to achieve that, actually, we do have two solutions. One of them is for each and the second one is count. Let's explore these solutions. So with for each and count, we typically use them to create one or multiple instances of our services. But we can also use them to create zero or one instance. And that is the case that I want to use today. So within for each, I can combine it with the if and else using those different characters here and then i can say if resource enabled that is my variable that i want to set up when i want to enable or disable that resource if that resource is enabled then the value for for each will be this map which contains one uh, instance or one value that means it will create one instance of this resource group and if resource enabled is set to false, then it will take the second value after the do dots, which is going to be the empty map. This means here it will not, uh, for each will be empty map, so it will not create the resource group right here. So it's as simple as that. Now let's say, uh, because we are using the for each, so when we want to access this resource group from within Terraform, then we need to go through that key from within the map we use it here. So if my key is any value, then I should use the key any value to access that specific resource group. And note here also to access that output, I, can, I put here an if and else. So the same here, if that resource is enabled, this means I would have that output, it will be defined. Of course, okay, because if I don't have that resource group, then it doesn't make sense to get its ID. So if that resource group will be created, then I want to get the ID of that resource group using the key from within that map. If it's not set up, then here that value will return null. So that is the first option to access or to enable and disable creation of resource that is using for each. Let's explore the second option, which will be here using the count keyword. So I'm creating the same resource group, but here I'm using the count keyword. So I want to say here, if resource enabled, then that count would take the value one. If it's not enabled, then that value will take zero and it means it will not create that resource for me. Now, if I want to access the ID of the second resource group using count from the output, I use the same syntax as before. So I'll make sure that resource is created or that resource group is created. If it's created, then I'll be able to access it through its ID or through actually the count number of that resource group. So when I have count here, I can access that specific resource group using the index of that table. And for me here, the index would be zero because I'm only, if, if I'm going to create a resource group, it will take the index, the first one will take the index zero. If I didn't create the resource group, then this value will be uh, false. And then the second value will be used here, which is null and that output will not be created. Let's see this in action. So what I have done here is that I have run a Terraform init to initialize my configuration. And then I've, uh, I've run it Terraform plan dash out TF plan. And then I provide here the two targets. So because in this file, I have actually multiple uh, samples, uh, multiple resources. So I want to focus only on the resource group and 
the two resource groups that I've created here. So for that, I'm adding here the two flags for target for my first resource group and the second target to the second resource group. So Terraform will just box on those. It will not refresh all the other uh, resources. The output of this is that it's telling me no changes because here resource enabled is always set is already set to uh, false as you can see it here. So that means I don't want to create both resources. So Terraform, thanks to this configuration that I provided using the for each and the, for the count, it will not create any of these two resources. So it tells me here no changes will be made to, to my infrastructure. Okay, and then here we just get a warning related to the using of that uh, dash target um, um, parameter. Now let's change the enabled to be true. So I'll change this one. The default value of resource enabled will be true. Let's put this as a comment. And then let's rerun the same command terraform plan dash out tf plan and targeting both resources. And now we see here a different output. We are seeing here some resources that will be created. So those are my two resource groups that will be created. And we can see here each one will be, create, will be created with one resource. So both of them will be created for me. So we have used the count and the for each inside the block itself. But what about nested blocks? So let's say here, for example, I want to create a storage account and they have a nested block that is the network rules, for example. So I can also use the dynamic keyword with that. And they can also specify whether to create or not that nested block using count and for each. And by the way, sorry, count doesn't work for you. If you want to try it, it doesn't work inside the dynamic um, inside the dynamic nested blocks. Okay, so the only choice that you get here is to use the for each. So using the same syntax as before, I want to say here for each equal then if whether that resource is enabled or not. And then you provide uh, a map with one or multiple values when you want to create that resource and an empty map when you don't want to create that resource. And then for the content, you put the network rules you want to apply. This is actually a nice feature used within Terraform configurations because when we create infrastructure into the cloud, sometimes we want to uh, make that uh, infrastructure modular. So we want to create, for example, a virtual machine. Then we want to add or not a bastion depending on the environment, for example, or depending on the type of uh, project. So making that infrastructure modular is really, really useful. And uh, Terraform here provide those features for us. Thanks for watching. The Terraform template that I've used in the demo today is available on this GitHub repository called Terraform course.